Good morning, folks. Everything new on is on um, a, a few short videos today. Don't have a lot of time, but um, this one is looking at um, the chapter of Luke, and it's speaking of what's going to happen in uh, the last days. Luke twenty-one. <clears throat> and we're going to start in uh, 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 well, verse number ten here, and it said, uh, "Then said he unto them, Nation shall rise against nation, and isn't that the, just the subject of all?" The video is pretty much that I've been doing lately, and we're gonna, I'm going to do another video today about the U.S. and Russia again, uh, but not fighting overseas. Um, fighting um, is uh, looking to be looming in Venezuela, so we're going to take a look at that. But it says, kingdom against kingdom, and great earthquakes shall be in diverse places. This is what we're going to talk about today, earthquakes. And famines and pestilences and fearful sights and great signs, it says. <clears throat> well, it's interesting... As, I, as we read farther, um, this is a, a, a passage that I kind of quote a lot. And there shall be signs in the sun, moon, and stars, and, and on the, upon the earth uh, distress of nations with perplexity. And what's happening? The sea and the waves roaring. That sounds like um, weather events. Men's hearts failing them for fear of looking, upon, uh, looking after the things which are coming upon the earth. For the powers of heaven shall be shaken. And then... When they see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with great power and glory, and when these things shall come to pass, look up, lift up your heads, for your redemption draweth nigh. So when you see these things coming to pass, get ready. The Lord is coming soon. That's what this is talking about. <clears throat> and um, in conjunction with the earthquakes reference in this Luke 21 passage, look at this one. This is azurehedge.com. Is it the beginning? Ten significant quakes rock California coastline as Mount St. Helens rumbles back to life. So this is an interesting one, and, and this is one of these <clears throat> one of these uh, sorts of headlines, one of these topics we uh, continue to watch as we uh, look for the coming of the Lord, look for an in increase in uh, birth pains, and look for a fulfillment of prophetic scriptures. And uh, it's exactly that, Luke 21. Earthquake, earthquakes in diverse places, and we expect those earthquakes also to increase in frequency and intensity. We expect those sea and the waves roaring to increase in frequency and intensity. We expect uh, nations uh, uh, against nations, kingdom against kingdoms, uh, to, to increase. The, the threat of that and uh, the actual kingdoms, number of kingdoms and number of nations fighting against each other, to increase um, in frequency and intensity, just like birth pains. <clears throat> well, this one says... Scientists tell us that someday the big one will strike California and large portions of the coastline will plunge into the ocean almost instantly. Now, I think recently I did a video about um, <clears throat> earthquakes in uh, Israel as well. We know of the major earthquake when the Lord returns. He sets his feet down on the Mount of Olives and a massive worldwide earthquake occurs. That's the biggest one ever in the history of the world to happen. Um, and the, the Mount of Olives splits in two. Um, but prior to that, we're going to see Earthquakes in diverse places all around the earth, um, in increasing in frequency and intensity. It says, could it be possible that we are a lot closer to that day than many had anticipated over the past several days? And remember, you've got to think about where is the United States in Bible prophecy? This is the consistent uh, and uh, everlasting question, if you will, um, that exists. Why isn't the United States mentioned in end-time Bible prophecy? Where is their name? Where is the nation? How come the only reference seems to be the young lion of Tarshish, um, the young lions of Tarshish, um, speaking to the Ezekiel 38 war? What happens to the U.S.? Do they uh, collapse from economic collapse? Um, do earthquakes and the Yellowstone uh, supervolcano um, destroy the United States or most of it? <clears throat> Does something else happen in EMP? Do one of these events occur and cause the economic collapse uh, of the United States? One other video, uh, or, or uh, where was it? Ah, yes, this was a, I'm not going to do a, a direct video about this, but um, this is from the economiccollapseblog.com. The most expressed and uh, depressing stat of the month, the U.S. national debt is about to pass $22 trillion. <clears throat> that means, according to this, um, and this, uh, the $22 trillion um, that exists here, Oh, I have the article open over here. Uh, it suggests that they're spending um, literally billions of dollars on interest just to pay 
um, the $22 trillion worth of debt. In fiscal 2018, the government spent $371 billion purely on interest. That's the government. They spent $371 billion just on interest, not even paying the principal, not paying the debt down, just the interest. And, and this article goes on. Maybe I'll put this link in the description as well. I wasn't uh, expecting to talk about it, but what happens and what triggers an economic collapse? And this could be one of these things. This is, this is, these are the things to be aware of in these last days to be watching. Over the past several days, there has been a lot of shaking along the North American portion of the Ring of Fire. In particular, during a 24-hour period over the weekend, uh, one area of California coastline was hit by 10 earthquakes uh, with a magnitude of at least 3.0. This caused create such a stir that it made the front page of the Drudge Report there you can see the uh, the 10 earthquakes there, or a bunch of them. Is there 10? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I see 8 there. Maybe there's more hidden underneath the, the red and the orange dots there. 10 earthquakes of preliminary magnitudes of 3.0 to 4.5 struck the northern, uh, northern California coast. Between Saturday and Sunday, the United, Geological, United States Geological Survey said, the first earthquake struck early Saturday morning at a magnitude of 4.3, and it goes on. Further south along the Ring of Fire, Mexico was hit uh, by a larger earthquake Friday. So the whole Ring of Fire is connected here. A strong earthquake jolted southern Mexico Friday, rattling nerves and swaying tall buildings. Um, and so this is a, a general increase in things, I would suggest. And he's, the article writer says, If you follow my work on a regular basis then you know that I have been uh, regularly documenting the dramatic rise of global seismic activity. And uh, it, it certainly seems uh, that more and more lately we're seeing evidence of more and more earthquakes. And uh, these are all precursors to um, some of the big events in end-time Bible prophecy um, that the, the Bible speaks of. And also, very likely trigger events uh, for things like the, the downfall of the United States as a world superpower nation. Um, simply by the fact that uh, they do not show up in anti bible prophecy. So these are the things we're looking at, these are the things we're watching, these are the things you need to be pay, paying attention to as we look forward to the coming of the Lord um, and uh, look for the fulfillment of Luke 21, and it's being slowly fulfilled as we speak, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll leave it there. I'll put the links in the description, and I'll see you guys in the next video.